Hey guys, okay, so I'm gonna do a monthly favorite, sort of in the middle, no, I think it's the beginning of the month, so, well, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, so, I'm just gonna do product favorites in general, because it's been a while since we've done favorites. Um, they're all natural, of course, that's what we're about, nature's knockout, or you can be a knockout naturally, so, I'm just gonna hurry and get with it, so it's kinda quick for you. So my first thing is uh, Jane Iredell's Disappear Concealer. I love this thing. I don't know, the consistency is kind of thick, but when you apply it, it evens out and it's so light. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it reminds me of a foundation almost, but um, when I apply it, it smooths in like a concealer. It's so nice. It contains green tea, so it actually helps if you've got bags, it kind of helps lighten those or soften those. It's got anti-aging properties too, as to it as well, which is awesome because you're kind of like anti-aging yourself all day long. So can't complain there, right? So yes, I love this concealer. I think it's probably one of my favorites right now for sure. So hence the reason it's in the video. <laughs> okay, and the next is this Josie Moran Argon Illuminizer. So it's really, it's kind of got a shimmery sparkle to it. Honestly, I think it's really, really good right here on the highlights of the cheeks, but I apply it all over. I just mix it with my foundation, which right now I'm using the Super Beautiful from Philosophy. It's got an SPF of 20. Be careful with Philosophy. I love their products, but some of their stuff, just need to read the labels and make sure it's got completely natural ingredients. I just mix the two, and it gives me a sheen that's kind of a glowy, you know, the like beach babe glow or whatever that everybody kind of wants in the summertime, of course. Um, this helps you get that. So I really like it because the glitteries seriously give you that dewy finish, but at the same time, it gives you a teeny bit of tint color. It's not like a tanner, but it does give you a little tint. So these two together are perfect as a foundation for me anyways. And they're really good. They're natural. Yay. So Josie Moran's. Argon Illuminizer, and then the Philosophy Super Beautiful Supernatural. Then next, and it's kind of sad because this spilt all over, but this is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Correcting Primer, and it's talc-free, which is great. It's got an SPF 15 as well, but I just apply this all over my face. It's actually kind of light, but when I apply it, it's not really that bad. It does lighten your face a little bit, but then when you apply your foundation and everything over it, it's not a big deal at all. This is a correcting primer, so if you've got red, you know, spotchy places or, you know, some things that you kind of want to even out, this will help get that. It's a primer, so it'll keep your, your makeup lasting all day too, which is a bonus. It's kind of fun because it's got a little brush, so um, you just like turn it and it clicks and then the product comes on it. Sometimes it puts too much. Hence the overspill right there. And then another good thing, I got this for free. I put it on the blog as a, they were offering a sample. I'll put the link for the blog below, but we put like freebies and stuff like that, but they were offering a sample. I thought it was gonna be a little sample and it's a full size sample. Those are the best samples. So if you haven't subscribed to the blog, I already do because there's a lot of freebies that are involved in that. So what, what, exciting, I love it. My next one is, Tarte's Smooth Operator. It's just a finishing powder. I love that it's so light. A finishing powder is not supposed to be thick or cakey. It's just supposed to matte your skin if you've got shine. Kind of just put it on the T-zone where you're more shiny. So the cheeks, the forehead, the chin. If you have really oily skin, you can put it all over. It's really, really light. And the cool thing about this is there's a clay in it that they've got, but it smooths out the pores. So they actually, it makes them appear smaller. Um, I'm, I'm like going right here because I have pores right here that I hate. I like this thing. I like this stuff. So there you go. And then lastly, I did a Physician's Formula haul recently because there was a really good Physician's Formula coupon which is now not working. But I got this organic wear mascara and everyone was asking me about it like please do a review. So I'm going to kind of do a review. It's not in one of my favorites for this you know, category but I wanted to do a quick review since I've got you here. And since you guys were asking, it's not a bad mascara. Uh, I wish it was waterproof. It doesn't flake, which I love. It does not flake for me at all. And it doesn't smear underneath my eyes. The wand is nice. It's a nice big wand. And the bristles are all really close together. I like the container, the packaging a lot. It's bright. I know right where my mascara is in my bag. But overall, it's good, but it's not amazing. Like I, I never, I haven't gotten compliments like your eyelashes are so long, blah, 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 or they're so full. But to be honest, my eyelashes aren't 
full or long anyways. But it's definitely worth it because it's natural. So yeah, there's my opinion on that. For those of you that were wondering, that is all of my favorites for right now. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching guys. See ya.